There it goes. Y'all go scare him. Okay. Fishing. Rocco said he wanted to go fishing, so Didi was like, I have an idea. I've got some fish food. We have a pond. So they've been training their fish, their little minnows, to come to, when they tap on a rock, to come, that they're, they're bringing food to them. So that's what the kids just did. That's so fun. Another thing, another fun thing to do at Didi and Pop Up's house. It's no noise. Okay, shh. Watch. Watch for the fish. See some are starting to eat over here on the left side. I see they are. See them? Mm -hmm. Okay, watch, watch, watch them. So we have cherry tomatoes and um, <clears throat> that are showing up on our our plant, and um, it's very exciting because I'd only seen male flowers on it for the longest time. So perhaps it's large enough now to. Um, to make the, I mean, obviously, it's large enough now to start producing fruit, which is very exciting, and I hope the other, at least four, I know one's not doing well. One of our determinate plants, I think it's the Marion tomato, is not doing well. I don't have high hopes for it, and, and it's okay, because our other ones seem to be doing well now. Um, so, I'm hopeful for that some new peppers that we've put in the ground too that are, seem to be doing pretty well. So we'll see how those do. Other peppers are not doing great, but it's okay. Cucamelon is starting to produce a lot of um, little female buds on it. So hope, hope being those will turn into cucamelons. Uh, and our green beans are shooting up. So, so everything seems to be doing pretty well. And I'm gonna go over and show you guys, but well, we've really got to dip under these guys now show you um, the tomatoes, even though it's bright and bright and bright and bright and sunny. These are my sweet little surprises I saw while I was fertilizing everything today. It's not good to... So it's very exciting. So come on little tomatoes, keep going, you can do it. We have a little mortgage lifter tomato that has arrived. This bush cucumber is one of those that I planted a long time ago and I separated a bunch of them out and um, <clears throat> now this one is flourishing after I put all these climbers in with it that are coming out here. Those? Yeah. Um, greens. They're cucumbers. cucumbers. Yeah. This, and this, is, uh, this will be a project. Skeleton. Project skeleton. Well, I want to make a project skeleton. Well, you need to go in the backyard and get some leaves, and we're going to make some skeleton leaves. Are we making skeleton leaves? Did you get one? Yeah. Why don't you get over there? <laughs> A lightning bug. A lightning bug nymph? Let me see. A lightning bug. Lightning bug nymph? Mm -hmm. Is it a lightning bug? He's not a lightning bug. It's a nymph. It's a young one. A young lightning bug? Mm -hmm. Nymph? It's a young one. Oh. Oh, baby, nice. I saw a YouTube video not long ago about an artist who took leaves and put them in water, put them in water for two weeks, um, changed out the water when it kind of got mucky, and then took a toothbrush, scrubbed all the pulp off, and then she, at the end of it all, had skeleton leaves. We're gonna get started on that. Since we're starting school in a month, I figured it would be fun to um, try something like that. It would be fun to try something like that for like our handicraft and maybe even get started on it a little early. So Rocco and I are out collecting black walnut leaves right now. 
trying to get some of the bigger ones to make skeleton leaves out of. He's pretty excited just to be out here with me. He doesn't get a lot of just mama time. So we're taking advantage of that today. Hey, follow me. I know what we do. Big leaves, like these. No. Hey, Here's a big one. Boy, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I want big ones, just big ones. I got little ones and big ones. Big, another big one, please. Here, come get mine. I'll get it. Thank you. I'm gonna put these down now. All right, now we wait two weeks. One. Which one? Can you do it? No. Yeah, look, those are all taws, and at the end, what's that one? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you can do all that. Yeah. I think I could sit out here and watch the kids play and sniff this holy basil and be just as happy as ever. It smells so nice. I don't, I've never experienced holy basil before, but it's just really lovely. It smells like chai tea and maybe I'm way off on that, but it just, that's what it smells like to me. It smells like chai tea. It smells really nice. And when it does get large enough, I suppose I could I dry it out, but I don't know if I have enough of it to make dried out, you know, dry out teas. But I, I guess it'll come back over and over if I just keep it in the house during the winter. So I'm trying to decide if that little container is big enough for it or if I need to transplant it. Because I like that smell and I want to continue experiencing that. Okay, what do you think? It smells like holy basil. <laughs> That's because it is holy basil. Eleanor, you want to smell it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> smell it. I think that black walnut's going to overpower the holy basil smell. Smell it. Where are you going? What does it smell like? Do you like it? Yeah. Are you huffing it? Huffing some holy basil, huh? <laughs> Let me have my holy basil back. Give me that holy basil back. Give me my holy basil back. Give it back. Give my holy basil back. Oh man, I got a holy basil thief. Where are you going? <laughs> Where are you going? I'm gonna get you. <laughs> Give me that holy basil. <laughs> what is it? We're making a s'more. <laughs> Chocolate s'more for Rocco, me and Daddy. Oh yeah? So we got um, kiwi crates for a little while. We found a super discount online and so, um, you wanna be in this video? Kind of a birthday Christmas kind of thing. And so they have these booklets inside. Not a sponsor, but if you want to, then we love kiwi crates. And um, so it's, it's an educational box. And a lot of them, for their ages are just very crafty but you know education oriented this was one of the booklets that came in one of the boxes in the very back it had that you could use the actual box that all the stuff comes in put aluminum foil in it put all your s'more material in it and then put it out in the sun and you can have your own oven that you can create so that's so we're just waiting for Rocco to wake up so that they can watch it melt in the sun essentially is how it's supposed to be so um we didn't have any marshmallows but they wanted to do it anyway and anyway i mean we can use this box over and over again it's no big deal so it'll be a fun experiment to it's like the gift that keeps on giving come on let's go
gourd. It makes a gourd that looks like a birdhouse. Well, it's kind of like a hourglass shape. You know what that means? What does it mean? It means it's shaped like this. And it's got like a smaller top and it's kind of like a snowman. It looks kind of like a snowman. Mm -hmm. Like a two ball snowman. <laughs> That's not what you want to say. You look like you're in jail. No. <laughs> That's not what you want. Like a two, it looks like um, a snowman with two bottoms. Two bottoms, yeah. La so mi la. Mi mi la so mi. So la mi. So, so, la, mi, so, la, so, mi, mi, la, so, la, mi, mi, so. Good job! Ticka ticka to ta. Is that what I did? Ticka ticka ti ti ticka ticka ta. Ticka ticka ta ti ti ta. Hey. Hi, here. I'm Sharky, did you do? No, I didn't really want to do that again. How about... Right, oh, let's go. Yeah, I have to go! Hang on, really fast. Uncle, I'm ready. Thank you. 